Let us now listen to the third live Mass on air at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. This live Mass on air is possibly made by Mr. Wilson Tua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for your generosity through a radioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos working abroad. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Good afternoon, Father. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, I confess Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and my words, in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, on every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scourging wind or the sun strike them, for he who pities them leads them and guides them beside the springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Bring forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb. Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. 
The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all His words and holy in all His works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please stand. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he did not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than this, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you. The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life. But those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May isang teacher akong nakausap kanina at ang sabi niya, Father, at this time of the year, kami mga guro ay busy-busy sapagkat ang daming papers na kailangan naming tapusin. Merong recognition day, merong gagawin para sa graduation, magamat ngay moving up ang tawag nila. Ang daming papers na isasubmit, nakaka-pressure ang aming trabaho. Yan ang sabi ng teacher na nakausap ko. At kung minsan, hindi lang pressure, mukhang nakaka-stress pa. Naalala ko nung matin ako ng World Youth Day sa Toronto, Canada, yung aming host family, isang uh, Pilipino family, halos hindi ko makita yung tatay sa bahay. Ang nag 13 lang lagi sa amin ay yung nanay. At sabi ko, nasa nang yung mister? Sabi niya, muuwi naman yung mister ko gabi-gabi. Kaya lang, dito sa Canada, kailangang doble ang trabaho mo. kung gusto mong medyo umangat-angat sa buhay. So, 
Pag-araw, yung kanyang mister na go opisina. Pagdating naman sa gabi, nagsisecurity guard. At yung kanyang misis, sa araw naman, yung bahay na kinokonvert nila, na ginagawa lang isang nursery home. Yung mga kapitbahay, yung mga anak, dinadala ron. <clears throat> Lahat sila'y nagtatrabaho, bising busy Kaya parang naramdaman ko, baka nagiging pabigat ako sa inyo. Sabi lang, hindi naman, ganito lang talaga ang trabaho dito sa ibang bansa. Kung yung isip ng mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas na masarap ang buhay dito, kami dito kung magtrabaho, doble. No? Maraming sideline, ika nga. Naisip ko na katangian daw ng makabagong mundo ay yung ang tao ay laging busy. Ang katangian daw ng makabagong panahon, ang tao dahil sa pagiging busy, maraming nag-iisip na ang ating value, ang ating dignidad, takabatay na tuloy sa ating pagiging busy. Parang pag wala kang trabaho ay parang wala ka rin kwenta sa buhay. Mas marami kang trabaho, big sabihin, mas angat, mas angat ka sa buhay, pinagmamalaki natin yung tayo araw-araw, no? Maraming ginagawa sa buhay na ito. Siguro, matutuwa kayo kung kayo very busy sa buhay. Sapagkat sa ating Ibanghelyo, sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. Panginoong Diyos, trabaho rin pala ng trabaho. Totoo naman, ang Diyos ay purong trabaho. Sa katunayan, nung kami nag-aaral ng filosofiya, ang tawag sa Panginoong Diyos ay purus actus. God is a pure act. Talagang purus trabaho, hindi nagpapahinga. Kahit pa sinasabi ng Panginoong Diyos, eh, kahit itong araw ay nagpahinga, pero ang katotohanan, hindi tumitigil ang Panginoong Diyos. Laging nagtatrabaho. Pero magandang tanong, ano kayang uri ng trabaho ang ginagawa ng Panginoong Diyos? Kung ang Panginoong Diyos walang pahinga araw-araw kumikilos, anong uri ng trabaho, anong uri ng pagkilos ang ginagawa ng ating Panginoong Diyos? Isang bagay lamang. It is an act of love. Isang pagkilos na puros pagmamahal. Kapag ka nakakita ka ng isang tao na naglimos sa kanyang kapwa, Panginoong Diyos yun na kumikilos sa Kanya. Kapag ka nakakita ka ng isang tao na mayroong sinagip, Panginoong Diyos yun na kumikilos para sa Kanya. <clears throat> nakakita ka ng isang tao nagdarasal para sa mga may sakit, Panginoong Diyos yun na kumikilos para sa Kanya. Ang ating Panginoong Isokristo, pinapakilala ang Diyos Ama sa atin. Hindi ang Diyos Ama ang nagpapakilala kay Jesus. Kung ano ang ginagawa ni Jesus, ganoon ang Diyos Ama. Kaya nga naman sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan, kahit na araw na bawal magtrabaho, sabat, ang Panginoong Isokristo nagpagaling. Kahapon yun ang Ebanghelyo, karugtong yung Ebanghelyo ngayon. Nagalit yung mga pariseyo sapagkat araw ng pamamahinga, si Jesus nagtratrabaho pa rin. Pero ang kanyang trabaho, isa lamang dahilan, sapagkat siya ay labis na nagmamahal. Yung taong may karamdaman, may sakit, nais niyang tulungan. Iba kasi nagtatrabaho sa ibang dahilan. Maaring kaya nagtatrabaho sapagkat gusto lang kumita ng pera, at maaaring sa kanyang pag-iisip ng pera, siya ay makasarili. Ang iniisip niya kanyang sarili, hindi naman talagang pagmamahal. Pero ang Panginoong Diyos, trabaho ng trabaho, at sa tuwing siya ay magtatrabaho, ang iniisip niya ay tayo. Kung tayo ay nasa panganib, napakasarap isipin ng Ama, hindi nagpapapabaya. Nagtatrabaho rin siya. Kung meron tayong kailangan, Panginoong Diyos kumikilos, nagtatrabaho siya, hindi niya tayo iniiwanan. At ganito ang Panginoong Isokristo. Ganito ang kanyang halimbawang ipinakita sa atin. At sinasabi niya sa atin, ganun din ang aking tatay. 
Ganon din ang aking ama sa inyo. Hindi kayo pababayaan sapagkat sa tuwing makakakita tayo ng pagkilos na kung saan merong pag-ibig, merong pagmamahal, Diyos yun na nag sa Kanya. Panginoong Diyos ang kumikilos. Kapag ka merong buhay na sinagip, Panginoong Diyos ang kumikilos. Kaya nga naman, ang ating simbahan, kahit ng isang tao'y ubod ng laki ng kasalanan, kahit pa ituring ng iba na wala ng kwentang tao, kapag ka nakakakita ko ng isang tao na gusto siyang sagipin, iligtas sa tsak na kamatayan, Panginoong Diyos yun na kumikilos para sa Kanya. Hindi ko maisip ng Panginoong Diyos kikilos ng laban sa buhay. Ang mga taong nagsusulong ng buhay, Panginoong Diyos yun na kumikilos sa Kanya. At ganun din naman ang hamon sa atin. Gusto nating maging makatotohanan ang Ibanghel yung ating binasa. My Father is at work until now. So I am at work. Patuloy na kumikilos ang Panginoong Diyos sa pamagitan ninyo. Sa tuwing ang inyong pagkilos ay tungkol sa pag-aala sa inyong kapwa. Tungkol sa pagmamahal, hindi lang sa inyong mga kamag-anak, kung hindi lalo na sa mga may hirap. It is the Father who is continually, continuously working through us even at the modern times. Please all stand. As we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and confirm to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. creation for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
please stand. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is all in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ our Lord, through Him the angels praise Your Majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven, the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. O Son, Son in the highest, blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest, please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death or resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Elmer, his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Amen. Sumasalangit ka. 
sambahin ang ngalan mo mapasa amin ang kaharian mo sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang salagi bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para na pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the center of apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God did not send His Son into the world to judge the world, but the world might be saved through Him. You are listening to the live Mass on Air at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And the celebrant for this live Mass on Air is Reverend Father Alan Lopez O.P. Let us pray for Mr. Wilson Chua and family of Bitstop Network Services Incorporated for their generosity through iradioportal.com and for the intention of our sick brothers and sisters and to all Filipinos working abroad. For you who are listening to this radio and watching through the internet, the live broadcast of this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being celebrated in this Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may I invite you to pray with me this spiritual communion in the act of charity. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you 
above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Prayer for an act of charity. O oh my God, I love you above all things with all my heart and soul because you're all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 3, 2017, third Wednesday of Easter season. Novena Masses will begin on April 24, every hour from 5 a.m. to 12 noon. There will also be a Novena Mass at 4 in the afternoon. We invite you to participate in the said Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several masses, you may approach the personnel at the religious store, at the ground floor, or at the museum. Novena masses will be aired over Radio Dominico ng Manawag, 102.5 FM. For live streaming, you may also search for Radio Dominico in the internet. The Novena Booklet in honor of Our Lady of Manawag is now available at the religious stores. You may now buy your copy of the revised edition in English. Every Friday throughout this Lenten season, there will be a Way of the Cross at 4 p.m. to be followed by the Mass. You are all invited. Important Announcement in line with the upcoming observance of the Holy Week and the celebration of Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we would like to inform you that the parking area inside the Basilica will be closed. This is to make way for the preparation, maintenance, and improvement of the Basilica. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you. Please stand. Thank you very much for visiting the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag and for joining us in this Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall I have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty 
Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing the Immaculate Mother. Immaculate Mother, we come at thy call and look at thy altar before thee. Thank you. 